No, 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 I'm not quiet. Come on, right, I'm not right. quiet. Let's go, let's go. One, okay. two, three, okay? Right. One, you ready? I'm ready, I'll start Okay, really so, one, two, three. Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, once again. I'm back again with Africa to the world. Anywhere I go to, it's all about preaching positivity. I love African Americans. I keep on watching their YouTube channel, but there's one lady that I love so much. I shared her channel before. I told you guys that she's so positive that I really want to meet her. And I can't believe that she's here in Ghana. And before I go to Nigeria, I need to put up this interview for you guys. Before I go, I am Maya. I am Maya. Oh, good to see you. <laughs> What's up? Cool, good you to see you. You too. Why are you so positive? Woo, life. Life teaches us. You know? Life teaches us. How about that? Wow. You know, I love you so much. Thank you. I'm gonna say this again. Like I really watch a lot of African American YouTube channels, Moshe, Advice Show, but you are different from that. Oh, how so? You're the, you know, you are the only person who is preaching about positivity. Move to the continent, go do this on the continent. I'm going and stuff like that. So tell me, let me know. Tell me your name. First of all, so many people don't know your name and the name of your YouTube channel. Of course. Hello, everybody. My name is Es, and I'm from Eat Love migrate channel on youtube why the name eats love migrate you love food so much i love food so much <laughs> and, and what about the love what is the love doing in here well i spread love oh, to everybody and migrate yeah migrating I'm migrating so just like you <laughs> i am my it looks as if you have a lot in common because food is my all-time favorite yeah uh, I love spreading positivity. Yes, you do. Th that's why we click so much. A year of hard, not of a year of return. A year of hard. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's real though, because it's, I think that it's time for us to come together exactly. and be more engaged with understanding the cultural diversity, which a lot of us are not really. I, I don't think many of us really understand how different we are, yeah. but opening ourselves up enough to say, let me see what this person is all about actually wow. in person, you know? So I want to go, I want to meet people. I know I kind of look different, but I don't care. I don't no, feel different. different. I feel the spirit. So that's why I'm like, I'm just going. I don't even care. I just need to know my sisters, <laughs> my brothers. I want to get to know them. Why did you migrate from the United States to the continent? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a little tired of the beating, <laughs> spiritually and mentally. You know, seriously. Um, seriously. Many people will say there's so many conveniences there and you're given everything, but I mean, at what cost though? You know, as far as like your self-esteem, you know, how you feel as a person, you know, your economics. There's a lot of things that are missing within the diasporans worldwide, you know. Wow. As far as U.S. is concerned, we're not really progressing as one because we're so diverse. Wow. And so I said, well, you know what? Considering that I've learned a bit about my own ancestry, I have to get out there and learn more by becoming immersed in the different cultures. That's what I want, you know? So that's why I'm going to travel around. I want to know who the people are. Why Ghana in the first place? You choose Ghana as the first country. Ghana is uh -huh. the first country because this is like the portal of it all, I think. Because I do think that they played a major role in the divide of many families. But with that, this apology that the president has extended, the invitation, the warmness of the people, the love that's evident amongst many people. I mean, it's, it's, it's very attractive to diasporans. You know, I just have to be honest, very attractive. We're tired of mental and spiritual abuse. So we need something, we need an outlet, we need options. And Ghana has definitely offered that. I have not seen any other country as motivated and as, as high frequency as Ghana. So I want in, I want to be a part of it. <laughs> Let me know, what is your first impression about Ghana? What's the first impression about Ghana? The weather, the weather was off the chain. I was just like, woof, home. <laughs> Seriously, I felt it. And also the people, the warmness of the energy. Okay, it's a collective energy that I felt really nice. The people. Do you think that you are connected to Africans, like you are connected to Ghanaians since you landed in Ghana? Ghana Ghanaians have extended themselves in a very, like, like they're the, the lost cousin that came back and was just like, hey, we remembered you. So I think that is what has appealed to me personally. Wow. It's like the cousin that's just like, and we know we kind of messed up in the past, but here we are, come home. I've heard that so much within the past several years. Come wow. home, come home. And I'm like, I'm not sure if I'm Ghanaian. 
but I still feel like it's family. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm like, let me just go and see if it's home. Wow. And so far, it's completely accurate. It's accurate. Welcome home. Thank you. Welcome to Ghana. Thank you. If anybody calls you a foreigner, report the person to me. Hey! I'm gonna arrest you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. You hear that? You know, you know like, I, I love how bold you are, how brave you are to take the step. What are you gonna tell your fellow brothers and sisters out there who are looking for work to take the bold step just like you? I would say just come so that you can experience it for yourself. Don't listen to what other people are talking about on the internet as far as, oh, they don't like us, they don't this. You have to see it and feel it for yourself. I have not experienced anything negative. Everyone's different. We can't expect anything perfect. I mean, when it comes to societies and cultures, they're diverse, you know, but as far as Ghana is concerned, the vibe is good, you know, bring your education, bring your resources, your ideas, try something new. You don't have to put up with that abuse anymore. I mean, come on now. You don't have to put up that with it. Up, put up. Sorry, you do not have to put up with that abuse anymore. There, you have options. Let's just put it like that. I, I'm actually going to share her channel in the description box so that each and every one of you, if you want to see how life as an African American living in Ghana, you're not going to live in Ghana alone. How, how long are you going to stay in Ghana? I'm going to be in Ghana for about four to six weeks and just to it, fill it out. And After what is that, the next country? I think I'm going to head on over to the east, but we'll keep that as a secret. we we'll keep that as a secret. All you need to do <laughs> is to subscribe to that YouTube channel. Go follow her. Go follow her adventure. And trust me, I'm the first person to subscribe to the channel, bro. <laughs> Thank you. You're yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, right. No, but you had me coming through, though. No, I no, no. I, 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 always, I always watch you because when I started watching you, I felt like, no, you're so positive. And Thank these you. are the people that I really want to follow. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming to Ghana. I appreciate you. Thank, Thank you, so you for much. having me. No, you're I love you best. so much. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's all about African and, and African American. It's all about preaching unity. Absolutely. I want to have a hug again. <laughs> If you're an African out there, make sure you hug an African American today. I help my. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh. laughs>